Gun Maverick is directed by Joseph Kaczynski and stars Tom Cruise, Jennifer Connelly, Ed Harris, Miles Teller, tons of people in this movie, and it's a sequel many people have wanted to see for a very long time. After more than 30 years of service as one of the Navy's top aviators, Pete Mitchell is where he belongs, pushing the envelope as a courageous test pilot and dodging the advancement in rank that would ground him. And he's faced with teaching a group of young pilots how to accomplish a very dangerous mission. I just wrapped week three of shooting Shelby Oaks, my feature. We're shooting for four weeks, we got one week left, and it's been a ride. It's been absolutely insane. 12, 13, 14 hour days, five, six days a week, and I've never experienced anything quite like that before. Uh, every day is sort of a pinch yourself moment, but there's also a lot of stresses and anxieties, and I knew that over the long weekend, I had to go see Top Gun Maverick and finally get a chance to see this movie everyone's talking about. It's very weird for me to be behind like this and everyone else has already seen the movie and I'm kind of catching up. And I'll say this, I have no nostalgia for the original Top Gun. And you might call bullshit on that because the Blu-ray and VHS are both behind me, but they look really good on the set and I don't hate the original film at all. It's just kind of okay. I saw it when I was a teenager and I rewatched it last week or something on Netflix. Uh, I watched a little bit of it at night after the shoot and um, yeah, it's all right. So when, when it comes to nostalgia, I I was like, oh, they're making another one. And I, I can only assume after all these years and with how much of a perfectionist Tom Cruise is about entertaining an audience and really making the best films he can, they must have a reason for making another one all these years later. And all I can say is uh, I understand why it took so long for them to make a sequel if this is the kind of movie that Cruise wanted to make because this film is absolutely indescribable in regards to levels of difficulty achieving what they achieved on screen. I will go as far as to say that this movie is one of the best theater experiences of my life. And this is only heightened after shooting a movie for three weeks and being on set and knowing how hard it is to shoot even an indie film and trying to get something of quality. It's films like this and everything everywhere all at once that make you feel like just quitting <laughs> because they're just so good. There are a couple shots in this movie that are like the entire budget of my film. <laughs> it's it's mind-blowing truly what they've accomplished. It's exhilarating constantly, but it's not just that the flight sequences are extremely well filmed and they're real and they were using real planes and these actors are doing their best to make it all realistic and 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 sell it. Surprisingly, the character work is just as strong, and that's not something I expected. I didn't really care about the characters in the first movie. It felt more like the 1980s encapsulated into a film. There was Highway to the Danger Zone and a bunch of ripped bodies and jets. And This movie gives you all of those things because it knows you expect it, but it goes one step beyond and really tries to push some emotional buttons, and it does so extremely successfully. I found myself on the edge of my seat throughout the entire third act of the movie, which is surprisingly uh, much longer and much more in-depth than I thought it would be. This isn't just about a bunch of people kind of hanging out flying jets in the sky. There's stakes upon stakes upon stakes near the end of the film where it, the, it just keeps rising. The tension is constantly heightened. You think you have a certain amount of time to do something. They say, no, we actually just shrunk that down. But the balance of action with characterization is so perfectly handled that it's, it's honestly maddening. <laughs> it's like you're watching it and you're just jealous that it's as good as it is. It's really impressive. And it makes total sense to me they held off as long as they did to release it. Because a movie like this needs to be seen on the big screen. And a movie like this needs to be seen with a crowd. And I'm just so glad that it's been very successful because these are the types of movies that I wish I saw way more often. I mean, I just got to watch a Jerry Bruckheimer produced movie starring Tom Cruise with a Hans Zimmer score. Uh, I mean, if this came out in 1997, it would have been right there with The Rock and Con Air and Face Off and all those movies and Crimson Tide, you know, it just, and that was a Tony Scott film as well. But Joseph Kaczynski handled this movie with such a sure hand. Not only is every scene just beautiful to look at, but the balance of emotion with the characters is really what impressed me the most. Miles Tell is great in the movie. I haven't seen him in a long time, but he was fantastic. He worked with Kaczynski on Only the Brave. Of course, Cruz worked with Kaczynski on Oblivion. And this is 
Kaczynski's second sort of legacy sequel, since Tron Legacy was also far after the original Tron. And it's easily his best film, like without a doubt. Whatever Cruise and his production team have figured out with the last few Mission Impossible movies, they apply to Top Gun 2. And it's all the better for it. It's easily one of the best sequels ever made. I think it's one of my favorite action movies ever made, if you want to call it an action movie. It's just really great. Uh, I love everything about it. <laughs> you should go see it. Don't miss this one in theaters. That video I made, why don't they make them like they used to? This is that kind of movie. This is the kind of film you just don't get to see as much anymore, ever. So please go support it. It's great. And I want to see more movies like this. Guys, thank you so much as always for watching. Wish me luck on my last week of shooting Shelby Oaks. I can't wait to show you guys the movie. It is going very well and I am very happy with how things have went thus far. We have an amazing team on the, on the film. The crew is just killing it constantly. The cast, I've never, I've never seen talent ever in my life in front of me like the cast that I've been working with. They're just amazing. And I can't wait for you guys to see it. Thank you so much as always for watching. Look forward to more videos very soon. And if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.